The power of what you can do when you all decide to come together. Operate as one, one goal, one mission, changing lives, pouring into others, pouring into each other, challenging each other. And so I'm here to tell you whatever happens this school year, no matter how tough it gets, have the right perspective. Continue believing that you can still win, continue to grow, continue to challenge each other, continue to push forward, and I guarantee you that that outcome is gonna eventually be what you want it to, it has to be. Are you pursuing excellence in what you do or are you just trying to get to that next check? Is it a calling and your mission or is it convenience? 1%, just getting 1% better every single day. That's all it takes, all those little small efforts add up, just keep planting the seeds. Keep planting the seeds. 1% better with your mindset. 1% better with your body language. 1% better in terms of how you serve others. 1%. You know, today I'm here for a special reason. It's, it's such an honor, man, as I think back on my life and I think back of everything that I was able to accomplish. I think about moments like this in school with individuals like you all, and I'm gonna talk more about it. My experience listening to Rennie Curran, particularly as a keynote speaker, uh, has been affirmative. Uh, in many ways, I see Rennie as a kindred spirit of mine. Uh, we've had similar triumphs, similar tragedies, but more importantly, we think alike. And, and I really appreciated the value that he brought to the conversation relative to my role in creating the experiences that I want for myself, but also my attitude and how my attitude can be infectious positively or negatively, and I, and I get to choose what, what the outcome of that would be. You know, when I thought about Griffin Spalding County and I, I, you know, listened and I learned about your challenges and your goals and the new strategic plan you're trying to implement, I thought about just all the challenges that you, you all face, right? Everything from just staff shortages to everything you've dealt with with the pandemic. You guys are on the other side of that. You're still here, right? So many things have happened. Yeah, give yourselves a round of applause if you're still here. Yeah. I mean, there's all types of challenges that are going on right now. We've never, our society has never been as divided as it is right now, right? We can't seem to come, uh, come to a middle ground for anything, right? So just coming together as a team can be a challenge sometimes. Getting on the same page, reducing negativity and driving it out, building a positive culture and camaraderie. And just, you, you know, managing burnout. There's so many things that we have to deal with. I know we're all in this great environment right now, right? Everything is, is happy, but we're, what's going to happen? We're going to leave here, right? We're going to go back into the real world. And we're going to be in the trenches. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to get real. And that's when all these things that I'm going to be talking about today is really going to come into effect. So today was our education celebration. That's the one time a year that we bring all of our staff together in one place. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, we recognize folks, and we try to give them a charge for the coming year. Uh, Rennie did an amazing job. He connected with us in advance to sort of get the, the theme and the, the feel for what we hope to accomplish, and he drove it home. He helped to develop uh, the culture that we're striving for, the, the, the positive mindset, the trust uh, that we're trying to develop as a school system. Uh, as we try to continue to help our students read, write, speak, and solve, prepare them to graduate college and career ready, uh, it's, it's a challenging uh, time uh, that we live in on planet Earth. And so there's a lot of division and, and divisiveness. And so bringing all these folks together and letting them hear a positive message, uh, I think today was, was just what the doctor ordered. We were thankful to have uh, Rennie as our keynote speaker in Griffin Spalding County School System. And working with John, we came up, we have a principle, a formula. It's called E plus P equals O. E plus P equals O. E is about the events in your life, the things that happen that you have no control over. Those things that knock, just knock the life out of you. The events in your life that, that don't make any sense. Plus, your perspective on it. How you look at your events, how you look at your situation, whether you believe you're down or whether you believe you're up, whether you believe you're being buried or whether you believe you're being planted. Your perspective equals your outcome. Events plus perspective equals outcome. So because I had the right perspective when I was in each one of those positions, it led to something great. It led to something great. It was at that time when I got cut that I started working on myself, that I started reading books, that I started going to network events, that I started going to schools and speaking. 
because I made a decision that I was not going to allow this decision to bring me down. I was not going to allow negativity to just take over my life. And so I'm here to tell you, whatever happens this school year, no matter how tough it gets, have the right perspective. Continue believing that you can still win. Continue to grow. Continue to challenge each other. Continue to push forward. And I guarantee you that that outcome is going to eventually be what you want it to. It has to be. It has to be. So my experience listening to Rennie this morning was fantastic. He did such a great job motivating the school district to work as a team, have a positive attitude. Um, you know, I loved his saying of, you know, in absence of communication is negativity. And that just rings so true for these days. I decided to start substitute teaching here in Spalding County so that I could give back to my community because I wanted, I wanted to serve you. I wanted to serve these kids. I wanted to make a difference so that, you know, they don't have this kind of struggle, that they know that mental health has a face. Wow. When I was age three, I was diagnosed with Asperger's. Wow. Um, until age eight or nine, I was under an IEP in Coweta County Schools. From age three until around age five, I was basically nonverbal. Mm. So around age five is when I started speaking full sentences again. Mm. Without my teachers, my administrators, my counselors, the custodians who had a friendly word to say at any mm. time of the day, I would not be here in front of you speaking. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Hell yeah, man. So the very least I could do and what we all can do is do the same that our teachers did for us. Yes. Keep that legacy going forward. Give our students the same, if not a higher quality of support than what we've got and what brought us here today. Yes. Thank you, yeah, sir. Man, yeah. Next thing, pursue excellence together. Pursue excellence as you strive to challenge each other, as you ch strive to grow and keep that positive mindset. It's another thing to be positive, right? It's another thing to be encouraging, but it's another thing to pursue excellence. Are you pursuing excellence in what you do or are you just trying to get to that next check? <laughs> when I think of pursuing, I'm real, y'all. <laughs> Is it a calling? And your mission, or is it convenience? Pursue excellence. You are all in this position. There are people who sacrifice for you to be in those seats right there. There's people who you need to honor every single day by what you do. Pursue excellence in everything that you do. I think about it all the time that there's people who have that championship mentality. They're going hard because that's who they are. That's what they do. That's the cloth that they come from. But then though, we have those who have that bench warmer mentality that they're just happy to have the jersey on. They're just happy to be there. Which one are you gonna decide to be this year? Be a champion, pursue excellence. And one thing I want you all to think about is just 1%. 1%, just getting 1% better every single day. That's all it takes, all those little small efforts add up. Just keep planting the seeds. Keep planting the seeds. 1% better with your mindset. 1% better with your body language. It, it can be 1% better in how you run your meetings. It can be 1% better in how you manage your classroom. 1% better in terms of how you serve others. 1% leads to the difference. It's the small things. I realized as an athlete, it wasn't us being so talented. It was the small little things, the small little details that made the greatest differences each and every day. And if we added those things up and we reviewed and we improved and we, sit, we sought that feedback, Eventually, we were going to be in that position that we wanted to be. One percent better. So what are you going to do this year to continue to get one percent better? <laughs>